out here enjoying this crazy Colorado weather. I figured I would talk about a topic that I'm uh, currently doing some research on anyway for this Jeep. And uh, that topic is thermostats, uh, particularly fail-safe thermostats versus regular thermostats and why there's a difference and why you would want the fail-safe. First, let's talk about the thermostat and what it's doing. Um, thermostat's supposed to stay closed when it's cold, that way the engine can keep the water that's inside of it and get it hot really quick. Therefore, you have heat and defrost on cold days very fast and uh, heat in the car when it's cold out like today. Once the thermostat gets to a certain temperature, it's going to open and allow that water to circulate through the radiator so that it doesn't overheat the engine. If you remember back in the day as a kid, you may have remembered a dad or a grandpa saying, oh, the car or the truck is overheating, turn the heater on full blast, and therefore cooling off the motor. How does this work? Well, essentially, your heater core is just a miniature radiator. I mean, that's all it is. And your heater blower motor is a miniature radiator fan. So as that fan on full blast is blowing air, cold air from outside, across that miniature radiator, it will cool that water off and therefore keep the motor cool enough to not overheat, get you home, and then you can replace the stuck closed thermostat. That's your indicator that your thermostat's gone bad. Overheating at traffic lights or even while driving and turning on the radiator and turning on the heater, excuse me, will cool off the temperature, proving that the motor is locking the water in and the heater fan is cooling it off. Now, on to fail safes. Why would you want a fail safe and why do they call it a fail safe? Some people don't know to turn the heater on when their vehicle is overheating because they don't know about the thermostat, etc., whatever. So most people just drive their cars and the only time they check the oil is when someone's changing it. So a fail safe thermostat is going to do the exact opposite of what a normal thermostat does. When it fails, it will fail in the open position. Now, side effects are going to be, your heat isn't gonna work as well. It's gonna feel like it's not as warm as it used to be. And it'll take a lot longer to heat up, uh, especially when it's cold out like today. You could uh, you know, be 20, 30 minutes before you finally get heat and still not that scorching heat that it used to have. That's telling you that your thermostat, your fail-safe thermostat has gone bad. Change the thermostat, preferably to another fail-safe, because again, if it fails and someone that doesn't know what's going on is driving it, you could potentially destroy your motor or the head gaskets or both because the car is overheating and somebody doesn't know to turn the heat on and the thermostat stuck shut. A fail-safe thermostat is going to stick open and you'll know because your heat doesn't work as good. But you can still drive around. You'll never overheat your engine. That's all. Fail-safe versus OEM. Everybody wants to preach about put a stock thermostat, recommended OEM brand, blah, blah, blah. Get a fail-safe. If you ever want to have heat and you want to protect your engine from overheating, get a fail-safe thermostat. That's all. Thanks for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep on modding.